The stalemate continues right now. No plan to get some of these agencies back up and running as hundreds of thousands of federal workers are stuck at home. White House officials this morning are blaming Democrats, while the president saying he is going to take some major action on the border if he does not get the wall money he wants. Mike Vicara is live on the Hill for us. Hans Nichols is over at the White House. And Hans, let me start with you, because we are now seeing, after a couple of days of relative silence from White House yep. officials while they were traveling overseas, a full court push from the yep. press secretary, from the incoming acting chief of staff, as the president says he's going to shut the whole southern border down. What's up? Well, this is Negotiations 101. They're trying to expand the playing field and increase the cost for the Democrats. The president clearly indicating that he's going willing to go to drastic measures, shutting down the border. Look at the tweet that he put up this morning indicating that's the strategy. We'll, we will be forced to close the southern border entirely if the obstructionist Democrats do not give us the money to finish the wall and also change the ridiculous immigration laws our country is saddled with. Note, Hallie, that there isn't a specific number in there, just that there's money for the wall. There seems to be a little bit of movement here this morning from the White House saying that they're willing to come down from the $5 billion. They're not willing to give a precise number on that. And then listen to how Mick, Mick Mulvaney, as you mentioned, the incoming chief of staff, how Nick Mulvaney talked about what the strategy is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all, to the economy. all options are on the table. What, listen, it's the only way we can get the Democrats' attention. This all comes down to Mrs. Mrs. Pelosi's speakership. I think left to his own devices that Chuck Schumer uh, and the Senate Democrats probably would cut a deal, uh, but they're protecting uh, Mrs. Pelosi. She does not have the votes, uh, and if she cuts a deal with the president uh, of any sort before her election on January 3rd, uh, she's at risk of losing her speakership. So we're in this for the long haul. Hallie, it seems like the new deadline, wouldn't, we wouldn't have anything until January 3rd. That's when that election will take place. And then the White House sees some potential for at least a conversation. Hallie? Uh, Hans, thank you for that. Mike, the halls behind you are empty. They're going to stay yeah. empty for the next roughly week, basically, until January 3rd, as Hans talking about. So what is the sense from Democrats this morning on what the White House's new line is? The idea that it's Nancy Pelosi's fault, not Chuck Schumer, yeah. and that the president might shut down the whole border if he doesn't get what he wants. Well, I mean, it's a fairly transparent rhetorical device that Mick Mulvaney's using there, divide and conquer, trying to yeah. put a wedge uh, between Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. He's right about one thing. If Nancy Pelosi were to suddenly compromise or somehow cut a deal and come to the president's position, uh, her position may be threatened herself. I mean, that, that election is six days from now when the full ho uh, House votes uh, for the Speaker of the House. Nancy Pelosi expected to get that uh, nod. Uh, but she's in a strong negotiating position. Anybody uh, in Nancy Pelosi's position, knowing that on that day, on January 3rd, she has the votes, she has the power to pass something, a so-called clean continuing resolution that would reopen the government, that would be a spending bill, because Democrats are going to be in the majority. And the pressure really, uh, after Thursday, comes down on Mitch McConnell and, and Senate Republicans to see what they are going to do. Remember, there are going to be two more Republicans in the Senate, 53 as opposed to the prior 51. Uh, not only that, Bob Corker and Jeff Flake, two votes who were not with the president on this, are no longer going to be here. So it's going to be a very near thing, uh, Hallie, no question about it. So yesterday yeah. we had a bit of a dog and pony show on the House floor, the Senate floor. They were in for a total of about three minutes each. Uh, Jim McGovern showed up in the House floor, the Dem a top Democrat. Uh, he tried to start a debate, tried to bring up a resolution to reopen the government. He was unable to do that. They cut off his microphone. Not that unusual, the GOP presiding officer. Afterwards, in the hallway, uh, we asked him what was up. That's still a, 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 you know, a work in progress. But the bottom line is we're going to reopen the government. We're going to vote to reopen the government. Uh, that's what the American people want. That's what Democrats want. That's what Republicans want. The only people who don't seem to want it are in the White House. Okay, so in theory, something could happen between now and next Thursday. In reality, it's not going to happen. Next Thursday, the target date, the big hoopla around the opening of a new Congress, together with this vote to reopen the government. Hallie. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.